Hi, my name is Carolyn, and I wanted to talk to you today about spiritual awakening and your kundalini awakening and a an experience of a spiritual awakening that maybe hasn't gone quite as smoothly as you had thought or maybe you had a spontaneous spiritual awakening like myself, um, dark night of the soul, all of these times of transformation um, where we had changed or going through a change and we weren't sure what was happening with our bodies. Basically, you can feel like you were dying and I definitely felt like I was dying. I had no idea what was going on, however, um, the people around me thought I was dying. It was very serious and very scary. I was extremely depressed. I was constantly crying. Um, I, each day was a real struggle to get through and it was just day by day um, for a while. And, uh, you know, I made it through. Here I am. I'm quite a happy, healthy, vibrant woman now. And uh, there was a very long time I couldn't even exercise, function. Um, I can go to the gym now and I literally didn't think I would ever be able to even run again. My body was physically that weak and unwell. Um, it's amazing and that was only four years ago um, t to probably the deepest part of my metamorphosis, the the worst time of the dark night that I went through. Um, I didn't think I could be where I am at today. And I was ready to give up many times. You know, I pray to God to take my life. And I have a daughter. I have two daughters now. But at the time, I had a little girl. And, you know, to leave your child, I was that serious about wanting to leave here and that unhappy. I was just miserable. And I, I didn't know... I was, um, what was happening. I wasn't attaining a spiritual awakening. I was an atheist at the time of the beginning of my awakening. And, um, my, my life started to collapse around me. Everything started to fall apart. Um, and to bring me to really my worst time. And at that time, it's when the awakening really started. It ignited um, with healing and learning about energy healing and chakras. And I had to. This was the only thing that was helping me. I had seen many doctors and healers and um, different modalities. But what was working for me was I went for uh, Reiki attunement and immediately that ignited the energy flow uh, to heal myself. And I had also been working with a, a lady, um, she's a traditional Chinese medicine doctor who also does an energy healing therapy called Nate. And I was working with her and she was balancing my chakras and working with my chakra system and I didn't know what chakras were. So I was learning, so basically, bringing my body to such an ill state. Um, ill, I was not, I was extremely underweight. I couldn't eat anything. I was, my diet was uh, chicken and rice and vegetables for a long time um, and some fruit. And <clears throat> from that point, I could, um, learn because I was so sick I could I had to heal myself I, I, I was the only way I could get myself through the day but I was also extremely fascinated and interested in it and I became it was simple for me to balance my chakras and all of it became very easy and the inner knowing the inner wisdom just came up and out and you know we all get put into a situation um, that brings maybe our greatest gifts forward in a time of crisis. Um, so you have to you have to do what you know inherently to do to survive, and that's what had begun for my journey. And from there, I had 
it had gotten better but worse at the same time as I was entering into a kundalini awakening and I was quite spiritual I become quite quickly spiritual and universal knowledge uh, star seed knowledge uh, star seed lineage um, angels archangels fairies on and on and on uh, Egypt all the information was just downloading uh, in a very short amount of time downloading about um, I was learning it and topics of interest were just going quickly through my life um, anyways I it got me to a point however where I had entered into kundalini syndrome and I didn't even know what kundalini was however so I I once again started dying and uh, was not able to function at all for a, a few weeks it had gotten so bad from the fire starting uh, the kundalini activated and I couldn't the energy was just too intense and I couldn't function at all and I didn't know what was occurring and doctors were telling trying to put me on antidepressants and anti-anxiety pills and I was just throwing them up and nothing was staying in me and all I could do was drink water and water and gallons of water and I couldn't sleep I couldn't eat I couldn't function uh, I was massively anxious and uh, depressed and crying and of course I was dying I was literally dying and uh, thank God I, once again after a few weeks I was guided to the right healer who told me hey do you know what kundalini is and all I had ever heard of was kundalini yoga and she said your kundalini is awake and I had I was literally on fire I just felt for weeks like hot like on fire my skin was crawling I could not stand the heat I was just couldn't wear any clothing I was constantly dehydrated and felt like I was burning and like a light bulb of energy just radiating too high and once I found out it was the kundalini it got easier uh, and the the fear dissipated and um, it, after a few months finally I was stable and everything subsided and I got into more of a um, stable situation with learning about the kundalini and deeper into the kundalini um, but what I do want to say with this particular video about feeling that you are dying is that you are <laughs> you are dying your body is changing you are going from a caterpillar to a butterfly but when you're in that metamorphosis stage when you're in the cocoon your entire existence is changing everything is changing you are never going to be what you were you're constantly going to be evolving on your spiritual journey and the past person no longer exists so your physical structure is changing your organs your blood your DNA um, your brain your bones your skull all of it is physically changing and it hurts and it's painful uh, and you have to be really gentle and it takes time it takes years um, emotionally you're changing and you're purging emotions and there's a, a lifetime of stuff and past lifetimes of stuff that are coming up and out and blockages and clearing and uh, you could be crying and happy and blissful and depressed and anxious and uh, feel crazy and have no control over your emotions and it's okay and uh, what causes the biggest problem with all these experiences is us trying to control it and stop it and what's wrong with me and this isn't normal and oh my god like then you're in resistance and you're stopping the flow and no no this is gonna cause you pain and suffering 
you have to let it go and roll with it and get in the boat, drop the oars, and uh, trust me, life gets easier and you are okay and you have to trust in the community, you have to trust in God, you trust in your spiritual awakening, you trust in yourself, uh, you know yourself, you love yourself, that everyone around you might fall out of your life away, your parents, your spouse, your siblings, your best friends. Um, this is a journey that is very hard to understand for people and um, if they're not supportive of it, there's not a high chance they're going to be in your life. Um, there's just so, so many changes, but I promise you with that, you will make a new soul family, you'll find your tribe, and uh, things once again will get better. So, uh, enjoy, <laughs> enjoy the death, because after the death becomes the new you, and uh, it's wonderful. You can do it.